everyone. Today I'm starting a vlog off in the car simply because I didn't have time to do it at home. Just had an argument with P because she wants to listen to Jingle Bells and I want to listen to Radio 1. Great start to the morning. It's just gone 9 o'clock. I have dropped my nephews off at school um, and I am off into the city. I've actually gone a really backwards way. I don't know why I've gone this way. Um, but yeah, I'm off into the city today. I need to go to Primark and get myself a pair of black jeans because my black jeans from Topshop with the rips in literally just slice me in half. I've come to terms that I'm no longer a size 10 in Topshop, so I'd like to enjoy wearing jumpers with black jeans that actually fit me. So I'm just going to go and grab a pair of like cheap £9 ones because they are my fave. The high waisted ones. They probably won't have my size, no my luck. Um, then I need to go to Wilco. I need to get some like boring bits for the house, like door stops, because our doors are the type of doors at the moment that just shut. And it's really annoying because I don't like having my door shut. I like them being open. So I want some door stops. And then we are going to go and see the Go Go Hairs. Now I think, yeah, I did. I did a video showing some of the go-go hairs they actually finished at the end of september and they are going to auction later on this week and at the forum in norwich the it's like a library they are doing like a showcase of all of them it's like all the city ones there was 50 and i only managed to do 48 so you get to see the other two that we missed and then all the county ones because they had county ones as well throughout norfolk and i didn't see any of those well i saw like two so you get to go and see those with p i had to pre-book um and you had to pay so i'd pay 250 which i'm fine with because she loves it and yeah all the money goes to charity so i'm doing that that's at 10 o'clock but our slot's from 10 till half 11, so we've got time to do that. Then go home, sort some stuff out of the new house, have some lunch, and by that point, I'll probably have to go and get the boys again at three. So not too much going on, but also something that I want to document because I've loved the go-go hairs this year. Um, oh, it's cold. So yeah, it's... It's weird to get back to reality after doing the move. The move just completely consumed me, my brain, my life. For like the past two and a half months, like it's just been absolutely draining. Sing it, mummy. You sing it. I know I'm half a and slay. Laughing all the way. Can I let me go? Messy, messy. Boots. Yeah. I know, I can see. Right, let's go Primark. We've got to go out this way. Through the, you're going to go through the tunnels? What's moving? Poundland moved, that's right. You're going to go through the tunnels? Yeah. Go on then. I'll be in the tunnel. Boo. I'm going through the tunnels. Yeah. Hey, Mummy, what are you eating? Some You've been crazing me for those, haven't you? Yeah. You're a cheeky monkey. I think I'm going to dig can you tell me where we're now going? Um, go go hairs. Go go hairs, that's right. Just over there. Look at all the pretty leaves on the floor. You see them? Hey? You have to push the push chair, don't you? Yeah. And you won't wear your coat either, will you? No. No. Wow. Show me. Yeah. Is that your favourite one? Yeah. Go and give him a cuddle. 
Why, why is that one your favourite? It's your favourite colour? Oh, wow. Mummy's going to take her coat off. Is my favorite one, isn't it beautiful? Look, that one's my favorite. Look at this one. No, don't sit down. Look, can you see the little hair down there? And what else can you see? Can you see the ladybird? Where's the ladybird on its foot? Isn't that lovely? That's a fox and a robin. Oh, I like that one. Right. You're taking photos. What are you going to take a photo of now? Come on. Come there. Take a picture of this one. Yep, that's it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what have you got in your hand? Tickets. You got the tickets. Come on. Let's go. Definitely brought a bowl that I didn't need, but I have been thinking about it for a long time. Right, careful because of car. Logo hairs were great. Really, really lovely. I actually got, is it sad that I got a little bit emotional, the fact that we're not going to see them again? Um, obviously I didn't cry, but it's just sad. Like, they were so lovely and P really got it and she loved it and they don't do it every year. So, to know that we're now potentially going to go like another, maybe two or three years without them being in Norwich or like having a different trail, just makes me a bit sad. Um, so I wonder what's going to be next. That's me your ticket then. Come on. There we go. They've taken your ticket as well. Say so thank you. Um, I don't know where my bloody sunglasses are. What was I saying? Yeah, so they did the elephants in 2008. Then they had the Go Go Gorillas in 2015 no 13 sorry and then they had the dragons in 2015 so it's gonna be like a, at least a couple of years which makes me sad can we just discuss how much toddlers eat food so i left the house today at yeah it's a green light you can go i left the house today at what time was it quarter to nine and literally, as soon as I was out the door, snack, what snack? So I was like, okay, you can have some fruit. Obviously didn't want fruit. I was like, you have to wait until we go into Primark because that will keep her quiet. Call me a bad mum all you want, but I need peace and quiet whilst I'm in the shop. So, um, gave her, what did, she had jammy dodgers, a little mini pack. Again, call me a bad parent, but it's just what she wanted. So she had some jammy dodgers, like a mini, mini pack. And then she had
had um, a packet of raisins, she's had a packet of mini puffs, and she's had an orange, and she's still hungry. For breakfast, she had Weetabix, strawberries, and a yogurt. Like, literally, she's like a bin. Is it just my child that's like this? Because honestly, she will eat all day, and it drives me mad. Some of these, apparently these are really good. Magic sponge erasers. I've never used them before, but you see my white chair? Probably not. I'm worried that when P has like spag bowl or chili or something, and she gets that on a white chair that's gonna stain orange. So I picked these up to have just in case. They're literally just a sponge. I don't get it. I really don't get that, how that can get stuff out, but my sister-in-law swears by those, so picked up one of those. This is from Poundland, by the way. And then I've got some more cleaning products, just because Mrs. Hinch. Um, Daily Shower Shine by Astonish. If one raves about Astonish, I've got a couple of their products. I've got the Mould and Mildew one, which is great. Um, but this is Daily Shower Shine. Obviously, I've never had a shower, or I didn't have a shower in the old one, in the old house. It just says, shower, spray, and leave. I picked up an extra one of these just because I don't have that many plug sockets if you've been watching my renovation or moving videos you'll know that in P's room I've only got one double socket for the whole room same for the bedroom I've got one double socket for myself and Neil and for the telly so we've got an extension lead my side an extension lead Neil's side and then we've also got an extension lead going to the telly but I don't have enough plug sockets so I got one of those it's a three-way thing it's only one pound, which I thought was really cheap. And then I got some stainless steel wipes. Ellie got these last week and I thought I want them too. I got the last packet. Um, I almost got another packet of the SIF ones because I've been using them, but I'm not empty and I can't afford to keep on spending money on wipes. But I wanted these because I have stainless steel handles. I've got a stainless steel sort of throughout the house. So I just wanted it for a quick quick wipe touch up and then i got this that mrs hinch has been showing on her stories recently didn't expect to find it in poundland elbow grease all-purpose degreaser don't know what i'm going to use it for my plants um i had something to return in primark so i just got black skinny jeans they should have been nine pounds so obviously i had to return something so i only paid five pounds for those so i've got those hopefully they'll fit i'm sure they will they're a 30 leg so i couldn't be bothered to try them on so i picked those ones up and then my bowl i've got my bowl I thought it was quite reasonable, so I just got a little black metal wire bowl. Um, I looked in Primark and stuff, but they were tiny and they were like the same price. And this is only four ninety nine from TK Maxx. Is it going to focus? Probably not. Come on, you bloody camera! I need to get a new camera. This bloody thing does not auto focus anymore. There you go, four ninety nine from this company. Um, I think it's a fruit bowl, but I I don't use fruit bowls for a start. I like my fruit being cold. I don't like it being out on the side. I feel like it goes off really quick when it's out on the side. So I'm now going to show you where this is going to go. Ta-da! Move that mess. How much better does that go? 
Oh, I love it. I mean, by half-eaten fruit. She doesn't even touch this and she says that she's done. Look, two bite marks there, one bite mark there. Honestly, right. I now need to tidy up this kitchen. Something that I do really need to do is actually crack on and do the cleaning cupboard. You're not having lunch, babe. You've got 20 minutes to wait. I'm done. I'm done. Show me how you fall over. I'm done. Oh, oh. I'm done. Like that. Yeah. Is that funny? Yeah. Oh. And it's that. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> right, I need to go into the conservatory. There's another job that I've got to do. It's the conservatory. It's just got so much stuff in it. There is a table there. Um, I told Nils to put that in the garage. He's popped that in here. Yeah, she's got loads of bits in here. It's like all the shitty bits that I just don't know what to do with. Oh, being an adult is so dull. So this is what I've now got to organise. This was all done. And then we had issues with the washing machine. So Neil had to pull it all out and I don't know what he bloody done. Oh, we connected the washing machine hose to that, I think. Um, so it got trashed. <laughs> so I've now got to completely redo it, which I'm completely fine with. But I just wanted to show you before. I'll show you an after. I'm not going to do a time lapse. But yeah. Ew, <laughs> What's disgusting? Dirty. Well, he helped me. Oh God, it really is a party in the kitchen. Oh. Oops. Right, before I do a piece of lunch, I just wanted to show you the cupboard. So it looks really messy, but it's organized in baskets. It's a really difficult cupboard to work with. I don't know if you can actually see, it goes back quite a long way. I haven't filled half of this space. Um, so I've got my washing thing, my sort of daily thing that I use for like disinfectant and cleaning, and then wipes, carpet stuff and shower stuff, so flora. So that's my cleaning section. I'm quiet. Chocolate what? And grapes. What? Chocolate grapes don't exist. Yeah. No, they don't. Don't touch the wall. Thank you. Open Grapes. I can see them. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Just cut them up. Yeah? Grapes. Are these chocolate grapes? Yeah. Oh. I'm not used to all the different lights. Um, it's now ten past two. I had my lunch. We had lunch, didn't we? You're eating some marshmallows. Um, I had some lunch and then P wanted to watch a DVD so I put that on for her and I finished watching, I was watching um, the Jake Paul documentary that Shane Dawson's doing at the moment um, so I finished watching that because I was watching that with my lunch um, and then play with some toys because they're all on the floor and I just, I don't know if it's just me, but I hit like two o'clock or half past two and I go through like extreme exhaustion. Like it's just awful. Like last, yesterday, after we took my dad to the hospital, we came home and I went to sleep. I was so tired I had to have a nap, but I didn't do anything like other than waiting around in the hospital. But I slept from like, it was like quarter to two till three. Like, I was absolutely drained, and I've just tried to have a little nap now, but obviously she won't sleep. Oh my um, and I said to her, we can bake some cookies. We don't have any caster sugar, babe, I've run out. 
Um, we'll buy some Aldi. Yeah, buy some from Aldi. Um, See, so yeah, I said, oh, let's do some baking um, to wake me up because I'm so drained and I don't have any caster sugar, so I can't do any baking because I don't think there are any recipes that I've got anyway on my recipe cards that require no caster sugar. So, can't do baking. Okay, washing is hung. It is so hot in this conservatory. Right. Honestly, it's like a greenhouse. We don't need to go in the garage. No, I don't have the key. Does he have that? Yeah, the key's in the house. I can't bother. Get in. Get in. Get in, feline. I'm going outside. Not yet, she's not allowed outside. Go on, Nini, get well. No, don't even think about making a dart for it. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. <laughs> so get it, Wally. Get it, Wally. Get it, Wally. <laughs> what is she eating? A snowman. A snowman. Doing. Doing, doing, doing. Oh, well, that's a, that defeats the whole point of the game. You're supposed to say, come on, come and get it. Oh, you let go. Ooh. What? What? Are you going to try and get it? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, she got it. Ready? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. Here you go then. I'm just uh, tidying up the house and I found this bit of paper that I planned my life with for the last week or so of my life at the old house and I had so many things to get done how funny it literally feels like it was a lifetime ago now but I'm now going to pop this in the bin because it's all done and then I don't have time to do any washing up so I'll do that when I get back from school 56 now in the car off to go and get the boys I've left a little bit early just so she can walk with her push chair and hopefully I can get a close parking space so I always park ages away and it's a struggle. So, are you ready to go get the boys? Yeah. I have just been prepping my veg, so I've got my broccoli there. I've got my green beans in the microwave. And then in here, I have got um, carrots, potatoes, and a chicken pie. Just gone half four. Still got to do the washing up. I might get a start on this now, actually, just so I can get it done. And they are outside playing on the trampoline. And Rue is outside as well. You see her? So it's now ten to seven and I have just put P to bed. Aren't we? Yeah. I've just read P, Caterpillar, and she's now having it again. Good night, baby. Bye. Love you. So anyway, um, the boys actually got picked up really late today. They normally get picked up about picked up at about um, sometimes half five, quarter past five, quarter to six. Sometimes it varies on traffic and stuff, but they didn't get picked up until um, six forty. So it was really late today. And they're good as God, they literally just sat on the sofa and just played on their DS or whatever they had. Um, so I just sorted of pee out, which is why I didn't film because obviously I had the boys here. Neil's friend came over and put off our kitchen blind because Neil tried to do that a couple of days ago and there was a like a steel joist and we weren't able to get through it with a normal drill. So Rob came over and put up our blind for us. I'm going to shower, make a tea and I might start a new book i'm not too sure i haven't read a book in such a long time not 
that long, but it is for me. It's like, must have been three or four weeks ago now. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for this evening. I'm not too sure what Neil's plans are. If he wants to watch any telly or not. We just finished watching Killing Eve and that was quite good. So I'm not too sure what we've got to watch.